Hello, I'm Richard Hunter, Head of Markets, and welcome to our look ahead for the week commencing the 1st of June. In terms of this week, it's been generally positive news, despite inflationary fears still bubbling underneath the service. There's no doubt that uh, the US is starting to drive its own economic recovery and in turn, potentially the global economy. We've seen again another decrease in jobless claims. They're down to levels not seen since March 2020. On top of that, annualised growth is coming in at over 6%. So there's no question that the US economy is starting to warm up indeed. On top of that, of course, uh, it, it's expected there may well be further significant spending following on from the US budget. That in turn has seen a revisit of value stocks uh, to a slight extent at the expense of growth stocks. And that's also something that's been seen in the UK. Obviously, in terms of value cyclical stocks, you've got the likes of the banks, the oils and the miners in the FTSE 100. So that's been a, a general tick when value stocks are being sought. By the same token, of course, you've got the difficulties of the airline stocks and the hospitality sector in general, as we uh, start to see some strains of a COVID-19 variant, quite apart from any other travel restrictions. All that being said, it has been a generally good week in the year to date. The Dow Jones is now up 12.6%. The S&P 500 is up 11.8%. The Nasdaq is up 6.6% and the FTSE 100 is up 9.1%. Turning to next week, obviously a shortened four day week due to the bank holiday and fairly light on the corporate calendar. We need to look to the FTSE 250 uh, for a few companies reporting there. First of which is Wizz Air. Obviously, we know what sort of pressure airlines have been under. Unsurprisingly, indeed, the company recently reported a, a sharp increase in a, a April passenger numbers as compared to the year before. But having said that, they're still only running at 22% capacity and with a load factor of just 59%. So things to look out for there, quite apart from any updates on passenger numbers, is their continuing cash burn. There's also uh, half your numbers due from the defence and technology company Kemring. Uh, this, when we last heard from them, this is a company which had an order book of £481 million. So clearly any new contracts or new wins is something to look out for. As indeed is to whether they've actually locked in full year revenues. Last time we heard from them, they were up to 89%. Let's see if they've pushed on to 100%. And finally, the water utility company Pennant is reporting full year numbers. It's previously said that household demand during the pandemic has actually uh, more than offset the decrease you've seen in obvious business activity. Probably the main thing to look out for next week from these results, um, it's, it relates to its uh, sale of its waste management business, Viridor, for £4.2 billion. There seems to be a rump of those proceeds left. The question is whether those proceeds will find their ways into the pocket of the uh, shareholders who are looking for additional shareholder returns in uh, addition to a reasonable dividend yield of around 3.5%. Thank you for watching. Have a great week.